Hello Dick Van Dyke Show friends. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is KJ Ricardo and today's episode is a production spotlight looking at the casting of Laura Petrie. So of course this went to Mary Tyler Moore but she actually wasn't the first choice to play Laura. The first choice was Elaine Brennan who would eventually be nominated for an Oscar for her role in the 1980 film Private Benjamin. Elaine had the talent and appearance for the part, but Carl Reiner said it didn't work when she started reading the scripts. She didn't interpret the part correctly, so she was passed. Carl said, I must have looked at every young actress in town. He looked at 60 candidates. He finally turned to Danny Thomas, who was serving as a financial investor of the show. Danny finally said, you know, there was a girl who auditioned for me a couple months ago. She read for the daughter on my show. I didn't use her and I don't remember her name, but boy, did she read terrific. He added, the girl we're looking for had three names. Executive producer Sheldon Leonard remembered her as well and said, oh yes, the girl with the legs. They tracked her down and before the end of that afternoon, Carl arranged an appointment to meet the one and only Mary Tyler Moore the next day. At the time, Mary had basically given up on having a career in acting, but she knew that this is what she wanted to do. She said, I gave up on college to learn to become a star. I don't just hope for it. I work for it. I expect it. Mary landed her first professional engagement at age 18 as a commercial mascot for the Hot Point Appliance Company, where she would be known as Happy Hot Point. In early 1959, she landed her first significant network role as Sam, the secretary on Richard Diamond Private Detective. But you only ever saw her legs, not her face. No one knew what she looked like, and so when her appearance finally went public, TV shows wanted her. She auditioned for shows, including Danny Thomas's show. She would have gotten the part as his daughter, but Danny Thomas said she had the wrong nose. People wouldn't believe that she belonged to him. Mary was even willing to fix her nose for him, but Danny said she didn't have to go to all that trouble. It kind of worked out in the end because if Mary had been cast on the Danny Thomas show, she never would have been able to meet Carl Reiner in January 1961. Mary was so nervous to meet with Carl. She almost didn't show up to the meeting. She was so in awe of him. She said, he was my hero, not only as a writer, but as a performer on your show of shows. Carl had no idea she was nervous. She was one of the most natural women he had ever met. She walked into the office and she sat down. She read three lines and they were simple three lines. The very first three lines of the pilot, the sick boy and the sitter. That's all it took, those three lines. Carl explained that he leapt to his feet like a man possessed the instant he heard Mary's natural line readings. He walked to her and helped her to her feet. He led her to the door. He walked her down the hallway to Sheldon Leonard's office and he said, Sheldon, this is the girl. This is her. She said hello, just like a real person. Mary was just right for what they wanted and needed. She looked like a nice, attractive Westchester housewife. She had good timing and she was an accomplished dancer and singer. Within five days of her audition, Mary Tyler Moore was signed to a five-year contract and Mary couldn't have been happier. She said, for me, Carl was every man in a young girl's life. He was my mentor, my father, confessor, my teacher. I just loved that man and I still do. Carl said Mary was sort of my daughter. I'm just crazy about that girl. And I think we can all agree that everyone is crazy about Mary Tyler Moore. And that's it. That's all I have for you this week looking at how Mary Tyler Moore got the part of Laura Petrie. I can't imagine anyone else in this role Laura Petrie will always be Mary Tyler Moore and vice versa. Mary Tyler Moore will always be Laura Petrie, except maybe Mary Richards. But I think that Mary Tyler Moore brought a sort of charisma and unique charm to the role that no one else could have brought. She is the quintessential 1960s housewife 
but she also likes to get involved and support her husband and be more independent. And so they had a very working relationship uh, between Rob and Laura. He saw her as almost an equal in many cases. And that was very inspirational for a lot of people in the 1960s. And so you have to give Mary Tyler Moore a lot of credit for that. And so I hope that you enjoyed this production spotlight looking at how Mary Tyler Moore got the part of Laura Petrie. It was a long and difficult process of casting the right person, but we can all agree that there was no one better than Mary Tyler Moore, and I'm so glad that everything worked out the way it did. Thanks for watching, and let me know what you enjoyed best in this video, and I would be happy to read that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time with another video, and remember to always laugh often.